I'm Wendy and this is Daniela and we've been working on some new ways of planning with the South East NRM Board. We've been developing some more local plans with the community for how we manage our natural resources and our landscapes. We really want landholders and people to be able to pick up these plans and see what needs doing in their patch. So let's talk about what we've been doing. And let me draw you a picture while you speak. Over 2,000 community members have been involved in this planning effort. We've surveyed 852 people about what they value in the landscape. 355 people were involved in online mapping of the places around them that they value. There were 800 people surveyed on the phone about NRM issues. And we met with 145 members of service groups about the sub-regional planning. We also had a great time with 135 students who attended our youth summer and talked about the future of our landscapes. And the South East Aboriginal Focus Group also have provided their advice on what they value in our landscapes. In addition to all of this, we worked with over 100 representatives from our 10 main natural resource dependent industries to understand how the industries work, the natural resources they depend on, what are the drivers of their system and what are the real threats to each industry? So the industries included dairy, forestry, fishing, cropping, viticulture, manufacturing, horticulture such as potatoes and onions, livestock, and then also apples and cherries and nature-based tourism. Through all of this work, the community has identified what they really value in the landscape and what are the drivers and threats to our landscapes and also what are their ideas for action. We've got four sub-regions in the southeast, and we've taken all of this information into discussions at eight community workshops to develop sub-regional NRM plans. The community developed a vision for what they want their, the landscapes to look like in the future and what actions we need to get there. The actions identified by the community can be grouped into seven main objectives for the landscapes. The first of these is to maintain our groundwater quantity and quality. Secondly, to conserve ecological values of terrestrial wetland, coast and marine habitats. We also really need to maintain surface water quality and quantity. And number four is to improve and maintain soil health. The fifth one is to minimise the impacts of pest animals, plants and diseases. The sixth is about managing fire in our landscapes. And the seventh is to adapt to and mitigate climate change. But none of this can be done without people. And the regional NRM plan contains a vision about we need healthy landscapes for better living. And we've got three goals that sit under this vision about involving people. And they are that landholders and industries use natural resources sustainably. We want people caring for and enjoying nature and communities living sustainably. So the draft sub-regional plans are out for review. So have a look here on our website or call us and we'll send you a copy. And then what's next? How do we get these into action? Creating great plans to guide us is really important, but even more important is getting action on the ground. So we're holding sub-regional forums with the community early next year to discuss what actions we want to see happen first. The South East NRM Board will allocate NRM levies towards priorities and actions in the plans. So together, local people and resources working together, we look forward to getting projects and action going on the ground in each sub-region and we hope you'll get involved.